Hey boys, so um, today I wanna, make, I wanna solve with you a continuity problem. In this case, we're gonna have a, a piecewise function with two constants that we need to find in order so that we can make the function continuous at two x values, okay? In the last video, we, uh, we did a piecewise function with just one constant that we needed to find. That was the problem that we solved. And in this case, we're gonna have two constants and three pieces, which means that, well, we're also gonna have two breaking points, okay? So let's do it. And um, the function that we're gonna be playing with is the following. So we've got three pieces. First piece says we're gonna have y equals two when x is smaller or equal um, to two to minus one. Second piece says we're gonna have a linear function with a slope a, um, y intercept b. Those are the two constants that we need to find. When x lies between minus one and positive three, and once again, we're going to, uh, for our third piece, we're going to have minus 2, y equals minus 2, when x is greater or equals 3. Uh, so now, what are, now what, are, what do we need to find? Well, we know we need to find a and b. This is what we need to know. And we also need to know what are our breaking points. So our breaking points, remember, are those points in the pieces where we switch to a different piece because we have reached a different x value. So in this case, minus one would be a breaking point because when we get to minus one, we're gonna switch from two to this linear function. So we're gonna have minus one and also we're gonna have three because when we're smaller than three, we're following, uh, well, when I say we, but you know, the x values, when the x values are smaller than three, we're gonna follow this function, but when they're equal to three or greater, we're gonna follow once again a constant function. So three is also a breaking point. Now, if you guys remember what we needed to do, well, we need to create a definition of continuity with these settings or with these conditions or values, okay? However you wanna call it. So now let's do it. Um, we're gonna have, uh, remember, so we're gonna do the following. We're gonna say the definition of, a, of continuity when x approaches each one of these breaking points, okay? So definition of continuity, we know the limit as x approaches i in a specific value, in this case, let's say minus one, from the left side in its corresponding function. Now, if it is from the left side, it is values smaller. So it should be two because x is smaller. When x is smaller than minus one, we're gonna follow two. And this should also be equal to the limit as x approaches minus one from the right side, which would be greater than minus one, which is our linear function. We get a, a times x plus b. And this should also be equal to f evaluated at minus one. This is the definition of continuity with our breaking points plugged in into the equation. That is what you need to do when you need to find two constants or more or less constants um, so that you can make a function continuous, okay? You set the definition of continuity with the breaking points that you're playing with. So now let's solve those limits and see what equations we get. So we're gonna have um, this limit is equal to two. And this limit right here, we can solve it by plugging in minus one. In this case, we're not gonna worry about f, um, f evaluated at minus one. We just care about the limit part. So we're gonna have um, a times minus one plus b. And this is the same as two is equal to minus a plus b. Cool. Um, so if you see, this is our first equation in which we relate a and b to something so that we can solve the system. So this is our first equation for the system. Now we need to find a second equation. Um, this was clearly when we were using a breaking point of minus one. Now I'm gonna do um, with the breaking point equals three. So we're gonna set the same thing. So x is approaching three from the left side, which uh, is smaller than three, so it should be um, this function, or linear function, a times x plus b should be equal to at the limit as we approach, as x approaches a three from the right side, which would be greater, which is y equals minus two. Cool. 
Now, um, this is also, of course, when and these two things should be equal when should be equal to f evaluated at positive three. Now let's solve this. So we would get um, plug in three. We would get um, a times three plus b is equal to. Uh, we can't do anything there, so we get minus two. And therefore, our third equation would be three a plus b is equal to minus two. This is the second equation we're playing with. Did I say third? I think I said third. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was second equation. Yeah, not third. <laughs> um, so now we have our system of equations, two by two. So now let's solve it and see what we get. So I'm going to write here, um, system of equations. And then let's solve it. So we've got our two, our two babies right here. We've got um, minus a plus b is equal to 2 and now 3a plus b equals minus 2 now let's solve this um i'm gonna multiply yeah i'm gonna multiply by 3 on top so i can you know cancel out the the a variable so by 3 so we would get um we get minus 3a plus 3b is equal to 6. Now here, I'm just solving the system of equations, so, okay? So hopefully you remember. You can do anything you want. You can do substitution or elimination, whatever. And we get this, and we also get 3a plus b is equal to uh, 6 minus a, uh, 6 minus 2, we get 4. Cool. Now, um, if I add these two equations, a, go out, a goes out, and I get 4b over that's four now divide by four on both sides and you get that b is equal to one cool now we need to find a knowing that b equals one so now we already have our first value so let me write that in there so we get b equals one now let's solve for a uh, our equation is the easiest one uh, this one yeah so we get that um, 2 should be equal to, just, you know, uh, just solving for a. So 2 should be equal to minus a plus 1. So uh, let's solve for a, uh, subtract minus 1 on both sides. Uh, so you get uh, 1 is equal to minus, minus a. Um, just take, just multiply by minus 1 uh, both sides. And you're going to get minus 1 is equal to a. So a should be equal to minus 1, that is our answer. And this should be our two equations that we're looking for, our two, bar, our two constants that we're looking for. So now let's prove or let's see if these two values are true. So now we know from, I'm going to raise this. So now we know from the definition of a limit that the limit um, approaching, uh, as x approaches a, whatever, should be equal to f evaluated at a. So now let's see that. Um, here we're using those two values that we found. So let's see if this uh, this equation equals f evaluated at minus one. So we would get a um, minus, so a, so we would get uh, minus, uh, uh, minus, no, not minus a, just simply minus x plus one. So minus x plus one should be equal to f evaluated and minus one just so you guys you know don't worry about the notation but you know, let's say x is approaching uh minus one should be equal to this now let's see if that is true so plug in minus one we get um negative negative we get one plus one and f minus one so when we're following um two when that is equal uh the y equals two when x is equal to one uh, so we have this should be equal to 2. And now 1 plus 1, this is just simply 2 equals 2. And then you see with these two values, well, we can see that this linear function is, now, well, of course, it's continuous with the two other pieces. So that means that our problem has been solved. So I hope you guys um, got the same results. And if you didn't, just go back and check the video. And I hope that you, you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.